guys, what's going on? It's Arsh here with the iPhone Chipster with an iMac G4 upgrade video. Uh, so I'm going to be upgrading this iMac G4 from 128 megabytes of RAM to 768 megabytes of RAM. So the iMac uh, G4 has two slots. One is a large desktop memory uh, such as this and one is a small laptop memory which is a little bit more modern. Um, so the laptop memory is actually user upgradable uh, that's what they tell um, and then the desktop memory you have a, uh, it gets a little bit complicated not a whole lot anyway let's get started so we have uh, we have to open up the base here so we have four Phillips double zero screwdriver double zero screws um, so go ahead and take your screwdriver and put in your screw bit like so there's the there's a look at that screwdriver anyway let's go ahead and open this thing up with the Phillips W0 screwdriver all right so the screws are attached to the bottom plate so uh, they never come out so um, if you just pull a screw out uh, the plate would basically just pop out like so uh, so there's the bottom plate over here as you could tell keep that aside and um, here's the user upgradable slot which I was talking about um, so I have a 256 megabytes of PC 130 PC3 133 meg uh, megahertz uh, RAM and uh, here's the um, slot for airport card um, I already have a card inside all right, so let's go ahead and insert in the first uh, small memory over here. Um, so go ahead and align the slot uh, with the thing over here, with the pins over here. So put it inside and then click it like so on both the sides. And then just hold on it and the RAM will attach like so. So now we have to open up all these Torx T10 screw, screws over here. So go ahead and change your screwdriver head to Torx T10. Take that over here. So let's go ahead and open uh, that thing up. And I also do want to mention, uh, use a, a kind of a container to keep all these screwdrivers. Uh, because it's very easy to misplay, mis misplace them, misplace them. All right. So once you've taken all those screw, sc uh, screws, uh, um, as I said before, keep put it in a. Um, nice storage container. I'm actually using a top cover of a storage container, which is also um, usable, so it's a cap. It's kind of nice. Um, so after you take off all these, um, you know, screws over here, the Torx T10 screws, um, you have to basically just put your nails on the thing over there, and then just yank it off like that. And then your bottom should just, um, you know, fall down like so. So there it is. So as you can tell, here's the base. Um, you have the logic board over here. Um, just taking a look in here. We have the RAM, which we have to replace. We have a battery. We have our DVD drive on top of it. We would have a the hard drive um, bay over there. So um, here's the RAM um, slot over here. So go ahead and put your thumbs on both of those plastic clips kind of thing and then slide out. Then your RAM should just pop out like so. Uh, so as you can tell this is a 128 megabyte PC through 133 megahertz RAM. So keep that aside and take your newly acquired RAM. I have a 512 megabytes. So this should really boost up the performance here on this thing. So go ahead and align the, oops, I did it wrong. 
align the RAM slot with the memory so go ahead and put it like so and snap it into place and then after you do that go ahead and take your bottom plate and um, basically align the connector which is over here uh, which you probably can't see in this video um, align it with the slot on the top side of the thing and it should pretty much just snap in really easily really easy to do that that's all so after it snaps in real nice um, take your screws over here uh, so the torx 10 screws and uh, screw it back on the iMac G4 so let's go ahead and do that Alright, so there we have the screws back in. The reason why I have only three screws here, uh, even though I took the fourth screw, uh, which is right over here, even though I took the fourth screw, is because I stripped the screws, uh, so I can't put it back in, but it's alright. And I really don't care about that. Anyway, let's go ahead and put the back base plate back in to the G4 iMac. So... Go ahead, pop it in like so. Now the great thing is that the screw uh, is doesn't even really come out, uh, which is kind of nice. So go ahead and insert in your Phillips double zero um, screwdriver head, and then screw it all back in. Alright, so once you uh, put in your screws inside the G4 iMac, um, you have to go ahead and connect it and open, uh, turn it on. And then go to the Apple logo, click on about this Mac, and you should see the amount of RAM which you have installed. Uh, so pretty much, yeah, that's how you upgrade the RAM on the iMac G4. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.